Set on the beautiful island of Mahe Seychelles, I want to walk you through the property of Northome to give you an idea of what makes it special and why we loved it so much. Hey guys, this is Will from Going Awesome Places, and as you can tell, I'm standing in front of the Hilton Seychelles Northome Resort and Spa, and I'm really excited because we're here for the next couple nights, and so this is my chance to give you an insider look into the property, some of my favorite spots, and why you should stay here. So come on, let's go inside. So when you first arrive to the Hilton Seychelles North Home, you're gonna come here, the Arrivals Pavilion. Here you're gonna get your welcome drinks and once they're ready for you, they'll take you right down to the main lobby. So we're in the main lobby area right now and this is where the lovely staff at the Hilton North Home are gonna make sure that you're all taken care of, whether it's getting the keys to your room or answering any questions that you may have. And you see right now that I'm on a very comfortable couch here. There are actually quite a few scattered around in the lobby area. And over there is the gift shop. Guys, let me invite you to our Ocean View Villa. We're at the Hilton Seychelles North Home and uh, I think you're gonna like what you see. So let me take you inside. So tap to get in. And it's a nice cozy room. Um, you'll notice immediately that there's a lot of use of wood and a lot of art from uh, local artists. So uh, it has a very homely feel to it, very local Creole feel as well. So once you're in the room, um, here you have pretty much all your kind of storage space for clothes. Um, you got your closet here to hang your clothes, slippers, umbrella, uh, ironing board, all that's included. You got more co closet space here and here as well. And this is where you'll find the safe. So that's kind of nice to have. Uh, down here you have the bench, which is where you're going to be storing your suitcase, which is nice and convenient. And then it opens up into the room. You got your TV, your uh, drinks and snacks and other amenities here. So water actually comes for free. They refill it every day or new bottles every day. Um, you got the fridge as well. So it's a, it's a cash bar. You can decide to drink these or not. But if you're creative, you can kind of wiggle a few things around to store a few things in the fridge uh, for your own use. Okay, so come on here. So here's the rest of the room. We got an uh, office table here, which is nice. This is where, where I'm gonna be putting my laptop, um, uh, workspace as well, just for kind of random things if you need to. Uh, you got your living room as well. So you got your couch, uh, sofa, and coffee table. You got a nice complimentary uh, fruit platter for us now that we've just moved into the room. Nice bottle of Shiraz because it is our honeymoon. And that's what leads me into the bed itself, the bedroom, which is nice and open, uh, canopy style bed. Uh, we got the, the happy honeymoon here, of course, uh, but uh, king size bed. And you got your, your nightstands, uh, night, nightstand nights and all that stuff. That's the bedroom. And let me take you inside the bathroom, which is actually really awesome. So here we have the bathroom. We got a nice whirlpool tub here. And right behind is the open, Kind of shower as you can see rainfall shower head which i really love we got a towel rack on one side uh, bathrobes on the other Just sneak around we also have the double vanity uh, sinks which is really good uh, for well two people that are staying here so you'll never really have to fight for the sink um, and right behind me in the door is the toilet so that's the bathroom but the best is yet to come they don't call this the ocean view for nothing because right at these doors is the balcony and uh, this, is, uh, this is the best part. So welcome to our balcony and this is why you want the ocean view villa because this is looking out into the Indian Ocean. You got Beauvalon Bay on one side, you got the ocean, you got Silhouette Island. This is where the sun sets, some magnificent views perched uh, right up against the ocean, which is absolutely magnificent. And out here on the deck, there's just so many options in terms of how you want to enjoy the view, whether you want to lie down here on this really comfortable couple's, um, couple's chair, 
You also have a table here with two chairs if you decide to maybe dine in or order some room service. And here on the other side, you have two beach chairs, so you can decide to move them up to get the sun or underneath to get some shade. It's a really great place and, and definitely one of the, the best features of this suite. And as far as Hilton properties are concerned, this is the smallest resort in the portfolio. Now, there are three types of suites. This one that we're standing in right now is the Ocean View Villa, but there's also the Hillside Villa, which is perched up on the hill and has still ocean views, but a little bit further up. And then you have the Grand Ocean View Pool Villa, and it's even larger than what you see here. It's a larger villa, but the bonus is that you also have your own private infinity pool, completely private, we got a chance to take a tour and uh, we really love what we saw. So those are the rooms, but of course there's still the rest of the resort that we have to explore. Now this has to be the centerpiece of the North Home. What you see behind me and where we're standing right here right now is the infinity pool and it looks stunning. Uh, the view that you have of Beau Vallon, I can only imagine what it's like here at sunset. And down below, you can see over there, you have the cabanas as well, which is great for just relaxing and catching some sun as well. This is amazing. Okay, we're now in a spot that has the best views of the villas. And I come here for photos and just viewing of the different types of villas of the property. So over on the back side, you have the ocean view villas with those infinity pools, which are, like I said, magnificent. Uh, one of our suites is right back here. That's the ocean view villas. And then right above them is the hillside views, which also still have views of the, the ocean, but they're not right up against it on the cliff. Uh, now here where we're standing on, uh, there's the hammock, which is really a great place to relax. There's a nice lounger chair over here. And to my right is the fitness gym. And the fitness gym um, is brand new, has all new equipment, so it's a great place to stay active while you're here on the resort. So if you're coming to a resort like the Hilton Seychelles North Home, you gotta have a good spa. And this place definitely doesn't disappoint. So here we have Euphoria Spa, and this is actually the same spa company as the one on La Breeze. So we just finished our couple's aroma massage therapy, and it was absolutely heavenly. So if you're looking to work out kinks from your travels, or just really just relax and wind down, this is the spa to come to. Make sure you have your reservations. And as well, there's a steam room. So if, you're, if you want to use it, just let them know 30 minutes before and they'll help get it set up for you. Now, when it comes to sun and sand, the North Home has a lot to offer. Where I'm standing right now is the main beach area of the resort. And what I love about this spot is that there are free rentals for life jackets, uh, snorkel and fin, we got kayaks free to rent as well. And behind me, there are a ton of beach chairs for sunbathing. Now, my favorite part is definitely the snorkeling here because I'll say that this spot here offers the best snorkeling of the resort. And if the beach isn't your thing, there's also the amazing infinity pool, which you're absolutely just gonna love. Or there's the cabanas, or lounge chairs, or hammock, or there's always your balcony, which is pretty sweet. Or there's this second beach underneath the villas, which not a lot of people actually use. While not exactly super secret, this beach grows and shrinks to the tide, and it's right below some of the villas that are up above. But this is a great spot uh, because nobody really comes to this beach. It's a little bit rockier, but you can really find your own slice of paradise at the resort. Now when it comes to food options, there's actually quite a few here on the resort. Um, for breakfast, you can eat at Hilltop, and Hilltop is a breakfast buffet and also acts as a breakfast dinner restaurant as well. Down below me right here is OVB, which is Ocean View Bar. And this is a great place, whether it's for lunch or dinner, they're a la carte, they have everything from sushi to burgers, to sandwiches, to pasta, to fresh seafood, a bit of everything. 
They got live music at night, which is really nice. So the last restaurant on the resort is La Cocotiere, which is connected to the lobby. Now this is the only restaurant on the resort that has a dress code and is a fine dining restaurant with fabulous views of the ocean. Now if those don't suit your fancy, there are always restaurants outside of the resort. So whether you're in Beauvalon or the rest of Mahi Island, there are a ton of great restaurants for you to choose from. So what about you Hilton Honors members out there? Well, the perks really kick in when you're a gold or diamond member. So first off, there's free breakfast, which is really important. So that's breakfast at the Hilltop restaurant, and we definitely took advantage of that every day. Uh, the upgrades are really key as well. So if you book a Hilltop room, there is a chance for you guys to get upgraded to the Ocean View or the Ocean View with pool. Uh, there's free Wi-Fi, of course. Uh, when you first check into your room, you're gonna get a free bottle of red wine, a fruit platter. You do get free water every day, so not to worry there. And lastly, late checkout, which is really important. So for us, it was very valuable because our flight out of Seychelles is at 9 p.m. Uh, and we didn't know what we were gonna do in between uh, checkout and our shuttle out. So what they were able to do for us, pending availability of course, was that when we checked out at 11 o'clock, they swapped our luggage over to a different room that was open. Uh, so this is a hilltop room that we're standing on right now. And uh, this is a room that we're able to use pretty much for the rest of the afternoon until our shuttle ride at 6 p.m. So that was definitely a sweet perk. So the resort actually has these really cool trees called cannonball trees. They're the only ones I think on Seychelles other than the botanical garden, but this is the biggest one here. They actually, the origin is from South America and these are probably the coolest flowers I've ever seen. And they get their name because you got these giant cannibals here. Um, not really suitable to eat as fruit, but um, yeah, big cannibals. So quick tip, behind me is the parking lot. And so actually it's a lot cheaper to rent a car than to take a cab to explore the island. So make sure you talk to the receptionist and they can help you get sorted out. So we've really enjoyed our time here at the North Ohm. Um, I think it's one of those resorts uh, that is definitely top of my list. It's very uh, cozy, it's quiet, it's intimate, um, and it's very approachable. Uh, it's one of those resorts that's not very large, which is actually refreshing. Uh, you don't have to walk uh, large distances to get to places. It's all kind of centered around one area. Um, it's also a kind of resort that doesn't feel very busy, even though it's full capacity right now. It, it, we're never bumping heads with other people or uh, rubbing shoulders uh, at the beach or at the pool. Um, and I'll say that, you know, at sunset when we're out at the infinity pool, there are moments where for most of the time it was just us. And I was really, really surprised. I thought it would be much more packed. Um, and the truth is, the villas are just so, so good here. Um, there's really no reason to leave outside. And, uh, the privacy part of it is really, really key, which makes it perfect for honeymoon guests or um, anniversary guests. So uh, you don't need to leave because you have that oceanside view. Some have their own private infinity pools. Uh, the rooms themselves are very cozy, homely, and comfortable. Um, and so uh, we've really had a good chance to enjoy both the villa and outside in the resort the pool and the beach. And lastly, I'll say that the snorkeling here has been phenomenal. Uh, the first five minutes we were down there, we saw more than uh, we thought we ever could. And so I was very, very impressed. Well, that about wraps it up for this mini walkthrough of the Hilton Seychelles North Ome. I know if you guys decide to stay here that you're gonna have as much as fun as we did. Well, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to Going Awesome Places. There's a lot more content coming your way, including my review of the Hilton Seychelles La Breeze. And if you're thinking about a beach and bush vacation, we started our journey in South Africa. So watch those vlogs as well. Well, this is Will from Going Awesome Places and I'll see you guys real soon. Uh, we just did our, we just did our, so we just did, we just did our couples. So we just did our honeymoon. Hold it, hold it. So we just did our, so we just did our couples aromatherapy. <laughs> so we just did our couples.